Hi, I'm Doug. I've been a fitness and rehabilitation professional for 29 years. When you observe someone with a stroke trying to do something, you're going to notice right away that they're struggling to do an activity that obviously they should be able to do. The first thing that someone's going to think is that the reason that they can't do the activity is because of weakness. And that's definitely not the whole story. Big step, giant steps, giant steps, giant steps, giant steps, giant steps. Now giant steps backwards. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you right? Yeah. Someone who has a stroke, their brain is telling the wrong muscles to contract. So this person might be trying to lift a fork to their mouth, but the muscles that lift the fork are contracting and also the muscles that push the fork away are contracting. So the movement looks jerky or rigid or slower than it actually should. This person, because of the stroke, lacks position sense called proprioception. So they don't know exactly where their arm is, so it's much harder to make a coordinated, smooth, movement with their hand. There is also weakness, so some of the muscles might not be as strong as they normally are, so they may be struggling to get the arm into certain parts of the movement. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want to access my full training course, click the link below in the description. This is not physical therapy or medical training. It is not meant to be medical advice to anyone. It is intended only as educational information for trainers and therapists. No one should ever perform an exercise without consulting with their doctor or medical professional.